In the waters off the southern coast of Brazil, fishers are engaging in a surprising partnership to catch more fish. They will approach the coast and they can approach very closely, for example, two to five meters from the beach. And from there you can observe uh, how the fishers read the dolphin's behavior and try and read their signals, uh, trying to interpret what they're doing and specifically where the fish is. A new study done by Mauricio Contour and colleagues has highlighted the synchronized behavior of bottlenose dolphins and local net casting fishers. So dolphins use sounds to find food. They they use what we call echolocation. They produce this bow, uh, pulse of sound in form of a click. And then once it bounces into something, they can read and interpret the echo that it makes. We put a hydrophone, so a, a microphone underwater to record these echolocation sounds that they make. And then we measure those interclick intervals to identify when exactly in time the dolphins move from a navigation clicks to this terminal bus clicks, suggesting that they are really going after the prey. And what we found is when the, the fishers react to the dolphin's foraging cue, then the dolphins will engage and produce this terminal bus clicks. Many generations of Brazilian locals consider the practice of cooperative fishing a tradition. So they learn how to partake in this practice from their peers and perhaps their parents as well. The tradition dates back more than 140 years. They gain these benefits when they really act in synchrony with uh, the dolphin's actions and the fisher's reactions. One way by which this, um, this tradition uh, can be threatened in the future is if we disrupt this behavior synchrony. This fishing style has benefited both the dolphins and the fishers. The dolphins in the study were found to have a 13% increase in survival rates, while also improving the social economic well-being of the fishers. Most of the human-wildlife interactions that we know and are familiar with, they're typically not mutually beneficial. Usually, the wildlife party uh, pays the higher cost. If there's a lack of synchrony, at least one of the sides will uh, catch less fish and then over time it will be prompt to abandon this tactic. 